Garoppolo. And at 12 o'clock, these guys were hot and already sweaty, and Tom Puxtis did not want to waste any time. He was the fourth thrower in the order, and he let loose with the winning throw of the competition on his very first effort past the 260-foot line, just about 80 meters, 262 feet, 5 inches. He told me last Thursday, Dwight, I want to get it over with early. I know I'm on this team. I just don't want to wait past the first couple of throws. And boy, he nailed it right into the artificial turf. Now, Mike Barnett, he said, hey, I don't want to be out here very long either. His second round throw, he sticks it out close to Puxtis. The 31-year-old Azusa Pacific grad who was fourth in the 88 trials, the worst position you can possibly be. He lands one at 256 feet, seven inches. That was good enough for second place. Brian Krauser decided to work out during this particular competition. He waited all the way to the fifth round, was not throwing particularly well. In the fifth round, he only had one left after this, so he said, I better get to business. He sticks one right near Barnett's. The 1985 NCAA champion from Oregon, 254 feet, seven inches on his fifth throw. He was an 88 Olympian, but did not qualify for the 1988 uh, final. Now, Tom Puxtis, his victory lap, the celebration of this competition finally being over. A competition that is probably more difficult than the Olympic Games because if you don't do well here, you don't go to Barcelona. Tom Puxtis, our winner, 262.5, Mike Barnett, Brian Krauser and Curtis in fourth place.